Hey guys, it's Tommy C. and welcome back to my channel. Uh, and welcome to five tips about pathing uh, or paving in uh, Planet Coaster um, Console Edition. Uh, now, as many of you know, I do play on console. Uh, I play on a PS4. Uh, but these these tips are for uh, well, I mean, they're, they're for any players. Um, the controls I mentioned are specifically for PS4 and Xbox users, uh, as I don't know the keyboard shortcuts on on the PC version. But uh, yeah, you may you may already know these five tips, or they, they may be completely new to you. So yeah, whichever it is, um, leave a comment below if you have learned something. Uh, subscribe if you are new and you know it has been helpful to you. And um, but other than that, without further ado, let's uh, let's jump into the five different tips about pathing in Planet Coaster. So tip number one is how to build a cattle pen queue line. Um, a cattle pen queue line is basically a queue that just goes back on itself. So you'll go forwards and you'll turn around and you go back again and you just keep doing that essentially until you get to the front of the ride. Now you can keep doing that but as you can see here if you go around at the minute it's it doesn't quite look as um, as tightly in the corners are curved obviously it doesn't quite look as good so the way to get around this is if you place one piece of path down so we'll place one there and then if you hold triangle down um, or Y if you're on Xbox, you get this menu up. And if you move to select grid there, and hover over the piece you place down, and then click uh, X or A, depending on uh, whether you're on PS4 or Xbox, so it's uh, X on PS4, A on Xbox. Uh, so if you click that, you will get, the grid will lock in there. And from there, you can just build um, square pathing, basically. And there you get, a full-on 90 degree turn all the way through and then you can use this as a queue line and um, when you when you're ready so if you want to join it up there all you do is click circle or click B on Xbox and then you the grid goes and you can just join it up as normal and th that way I mean you know you, you may you may like that style you may not you may just prefer to have like a weaving path but if you do want that style you can always then um, edit that you can put you can put fencing down the middle you can put um, I even see people put like brick walls down the middle so um, I mean for example if just having a look on the menu here so say if you wanted it like a castle style wall down the middle there you could you can put one of these in and just have that sat in the, sat in the middle just to uh, separate the area off like so um, you know, and you can edit that, and it just gives the queue line a, a, another effect, basically, rather than using the fencing. You know, if the guests are down there, um, you can put a building on top of it. It's nice. It's a nice square shape. So uh, yeah, it's just something to bear in mind um, if you do want to use a cattle pen style queue line. Tip number two is looking at uh, priority pass queue lines. Now, this is something that I'm, you know people might be aware of, but some people it's not necessarily pointed out to them when they're learning the game. So uh, it's always something to bear in mind. I wouldn't advise putting one on, on this sort of ride, it's a bit unnecessary, but on, on some of like the big thrill rides to sort of lower, lower the queues down. And if you're doing the challenges, they, you know, they, they are a good source of extra income. So what you want to do is on the ride menu, so if you click on the, uh, click on the ride itself, you want to go to the settings tab just here and click enable priority pass. From here, you can add your entrance. Now, you want to, you want to get this as close to the start as you want. Um, but, uh, but the game doesn't let you do it right at the beginning of the queue so um, just about here will be fine and you want to bear in mind you want to be able to join it to somewhere on the end here okay so for example I'm going on this side because I know I'm not going to be able to get a path round on that route so that's, that's one thing to bear in mind so join that there and you want it finishing anywhere around here that will work so there basically and then from there, all you need to do is you get you'll get a thin style path here. So you just want to run, run that. I mean, you can run it any route you want. I tend to try and run them along the edge of the queue line. You know, you know there's no there's no point in running them miles away. Um, and just like that. And then all you need to do then to uh, to get that going, if you go on create and go to the shops uh, and get a guest information booth up. So we'll join that up, and now if we click on there and go to prices, you can adjust the price for a priority pass there. So you can adjust it however much you want, 
and guests will buy one of those if they, you know, if that queue was full and they want to, and they want to beat the queue, they will, uh, they will buy that and, and use this lane. And as I say, if you if you use if you're playing on the challenge modes, it's a good source of uh, extra income. And if you're playing on sandbox, it's a good way to um, just sort of lower the queues for the rides because guests will filter in there if they think the queue's too big. So uh, yeah, that that's uh, that's tip number two is on priority pass queue lines. Tip three is on building plazas. Um, so plazas are going to be based mainly at the main entrance of the park, but they can be elsewhere. Um, now, as you can see, I'm on the widest setting for the path going forward. Now, I may want a path that is wider than that. Um, and if I did, if I did that in a minute, and if I go back like like so, I can get I can get to that. But I do have the line going down the middle there, where say the guests were just coming into the entrance, they'd have to walk all the way around to come back down. Now I can I can join up like this, um, I can form sort of bridges. But what you end up what ends up uh, happening is these little holes in the middle. Now you can there is ways around that. You can fill them with uh, with scenery. So if you go on the scenery page uh, and go down to planters, planters are a great way to sort of hide this sort of thing. So you could have a you know you you could place a planter there and it would completely hide. Completely hide the uh, the that you know the little hole, so you could put little plants in there as a decoration. You could put a fountain in, etc. There's quite a few ways around um, sort of fixing that if you do want to go for this style. Um, however, what I'm going to recommend here is you utilizing what uh, I mentioned in the first tip. So if we go on here, go on to select grid again, and we build a let's just build a bit of a plaza here. Let's just go out a little bit, go around. So say that say this is our entrance plaza. What you can do from here is you could um, utilize utilize the grids that you've got at the minute. So say like you're looking at that and you think right in the middle of that I want a fountain. So this square in particular, you want that out. Just hover over it and click triangle or Y if you're on Xbox, um, and you get rid of that. And you could you could put a fountain, you could put bushes, you could put a shop, you could put anything in there um, as a decoration if you want. You know if you wanted to, it's entirely up to you. Um, that is one way around it. So I'll just put that back. Now the other thing to look at, um, obviously plazas aren't necessarily always square, and they don't always look attractive with these right angle corners. The way to get around that is to simply if you hover to the corner as if you were going to put a piece of path just there what you want to do is you want to place the path so click X or A place it and then click triangle or Y to delete it and what you get is a curved corner I've no idea why it does this but it's uh, it, it's just part of the pathing uh, pathing tool so if you do want a large open area as I, I'll show you again not on this corner so place a piece of path and get rid of it with um, triangle or Y so we'll do that on this corner as well, and we'll do it on this corner. So as you can see there, I've got now a curved, you know, curved area. And if you keep going down here, say if I added a path there and then deleted it, you see it it does start to change shape the more you do it. So if you keep going around the edge, it does start to jump in a bit. So you can see there, look, that corner's kind of trimmed off a little bit more. And if I do it down here. It comes in a little bit more again so you can sort of tweak the corners there while still keeping a whole path area available and um, obviously you are kind of limited to I want to say a square you know slash um, almost full circle shape but it is you know it, it just looks a lot nicer I think having the curved corners on the end here rather than the right angle one so uh, yeah that's that's tip number three on building a plaza um, with curved corners Tip number four is essentially just how to build a sort of perfect circle of, of, a, uh, of a path. So what you want to do is you want to uh, place a piece of path and line it up, um, line it up to where you want the circle going. Um, so I'm going to start at the bottom of the circle here. You want to place that piece and then turn angle snap on in the settings. Um, now obviously it depends on how big you want the circle, uh, I'm just sticking with 35 degrees at the minute because I think that's just the perfect size to show you here but obviously you might want a bigger circle so you might want to adjust the angle. The other thing to have on is if you're on settings 
and go all the way down to camera will follow and rotate and you'll see why in a minute so uh, we've got our piece in there we'll, t we'll move it once because it's locked at the, the angle is locked on it so we'll place one there move again and as you can see the camera is following us as we go around so we're gonna place another one along there go back round. the camera's still following and then it joins up and you can um, you can just just about adjust the circle there to get a sort of nice consistent circle around the uh, you know around that path there now obviously it does depend on being exact with it it does depend on being um, you know on, on your circle size so again if we just um, just start off there as I say every time you move it the camera will follow if you've got that setting on and you can just sort of go around and you get a perfect circle just like that so uh, yeah that is uh, that is tip number four nice and sweet it's uh, just how to build a circular path and finally tip number five now tip number five is not necessarily pathing um, but it's sort of to do with pathing and um, it's about how you can be a bit more inventive when putting down benches in your park now as you can see here um, I've got these two uh, lovely gentlemen sat on a brick wall um, this obviously isn't a bench um, but I wanted to give the effect of the guest sitting down on a brick wall what I've, what I've basically done um, I've not fully covered it in because you can see behind the back I've put a bench down and put a piece of wall above to make it look like they were sat on the brick wall. Now obviously you've got to use your imagination here and think this would actually go not at the exit of a ride, um, it would go you know, in a place that was themed to it, but if you wanted to make your park a little bit more realistic and have the guests sat down there, you could have them sat down on you know, sort of like wooden logs, um, on all sorts, and, and I know it's not a massive part of the game, but it's you know it's just a, it's just something else to think about when you're putting things down. Um, it's just another idea, you know. As you can see here, you might want to tweak you know tweak it and just make sure that the whole bench is covered. I've not quite done that there, but I just wanted to give you the example of these guests sat down on what appears to be a brick wall, but in actual fact it's just a bench underneath, and then they'll get up and uh, and go off with the day. So um, yeah, tip number five is just you know quite simply. It's having these wall pieces in that he's just gonna sat down on the other bench. It's having these wall pieces, and if I delete them, you can see here um, it is just two benches underneath um, underneath the wall. So uh, yeah, that is that is tip number five. I um, hope you have found those tips uh, helpful. Uh, please let me know below if they you know if you have uh, if you have learned something there. Uh, and as always, uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.